So what advice, um, anyone else want to give advice to that person that's thinking about getting married right now? Yeah, I mean, there's two things that come to mind. Change is inevitable. Like, that is going to happen. Your relationship is going to be a series of getting together and breaking up because you are going to be a different person. They're going to be a different person. Who you are now is not going to be who you're going to be in two years, five years, and so on and so forth. So understand that you may not necessarily grow together. You may not evolve together. You may evolve with two different ways and visions on how to do life. Um, and so you're going to have to keep asking yourself the same questions you did when you first dated. You might have to keep asking those questions. What do you think about these things? Because it could have changed. The other thing that um, I think is really important is to understand what your relationship with disappointment is and what theirs is. Like, what? Are, who are you? What do you become when your emotional, spiritual, your professional um, or mental needs are not being met. Like what comes out when those things are not being met? Because there's a chance that it's not going to get bit, met by your partner. And you also need to ask the partner, like, what is your relationship with these things? And then how will you go about, you know, coping with it and being able to overcome? But you really need to know what those details are and how, um, how you are able to exist when things don't go the way that you want them to. So the key thing that I heard was the check-in because we change. And so, you know, the person that you meet when you are you get married, so let's say you get married at 24, may not be who you are when you're 30. So that check-in is very crucial, you know, going in that you do normal check-in. Like even with your, you know, like you said, we almost, it's like we got to treat it like a job. Because your job, you do check-ins. They do a yearly review, right? Mm -hmm. That's what your anniversary should be. Your mm -hmm. anniversary shouldn't be going out to eat and going out to, you know, wherever else on the airplane. It should be like, all right, it's an annual review. Uh, do we have the same goals? Do we have the same mission? Do you see us still going in the same place that we were going to go before? Cool. All right. Well, I'll meet back with you in a year. And just keep doing that because mm -hmm. yeah. something along the line could change. Yep. You know what? I love this conversation because, like I said, I, you know, we'll get to that question later. Like, you know, if you anyone wants to get married again so these are good things to you know consider like okay like the check-in and i think you know i did another show and they were like well it's almost like a business because we don't want to make it sound like a business transaction but it's it's sound like we need to treat it like a business like lola said when you do a job interview okay this they're asking all these questions we might need to be treated like sorry but hey <laughs> love yeah. don't you know keep us together